Hello, it's Mike, a developer advocate for Manticore again. Today we're going to talk about replicating data across multiple nodes in our Quick Start Guide series. For our experiment, we'll use the pre-filled database from earlier videos. In my case, the container with data was deleted, but there is a copy of its disk. To use it, simply connect it when starting a new container using the V variable. The link should be specified relative to the directory of the startup through the system variable PWD. In the container, we'll specify the directory of the database as varlib manticore. We'll discuss how to create such images in the next video, but for now, let's use my copy. The link to it is in the description. Let's see if there are any tables and how many records are in them. The records from the previous video are here. Now we need to create a cluster, which is done with a simple command of creating a cluster with its name specified. Now we'll add our products table to it. Now we need to check if everything is connected correctly. For this, we can use the display status command with an additional filter like percent cluster percent. At the beginning of the table, there is information about the connected tables in the cluster, and what we will need next is the node address and connection port. Let's copy them. Now switch to the second terminal. Here we are launching an empty container with Manticore, as usual, but with a different port specified for connecting to MySQL. The connection port here is 10306. Let's check if there is anything here. Nothing yet. Let's connect to the cluster we created in the first container. We will need the copied port here. After a short wait for the connection, everything finished without errors. Let's check if there is anything now. Yes, everything is here. Essentially, this is all you need to start using replication in your projects. If one or more nodes disconnect for any reason, after recovery, all data will be restored from the functioning node automatically and in the background. When working with data in a table that is part of a cluster, there are some differences in recording and changing data. Before the table name, the cluster name it belongs to is added. Inserting a record looks like this. You can use the select query in both cases. This can be useful when performing actions on the table while disconnecting it from the cluster. Data will always be returned through select. Updating data looks exactly the same as inserting. Now let's check if there are any changes on another node. When we need to make hidden changes to a table, we can disconnect it from the cluster. Locally, the table will remain and continue to work on all containers, but replication between them will not occur. Let's check if everything is in place. Switch to the second node. To add or modify, a regular type request will be needed, adding a line to demonstrate the table's recovery in the cluster. All data during table recovery will be taken from the node from which the add table command is executed. We added a record in the second node. Currently, this record exists here. Let's go back to the first node, where this record did not exist, and add the table to the cluster. Return back to the second node and check if our string is still there. This string is not there because it was not on the first node. That's all for today. Replicate easier. With you was Mike. Good luck in your search.